Hi guys, are you looking to expand your network and planning to use power over Ethernet switches? Today, we are thrilled to present a comprehensive guide on how to link two PoE switches over a CAT6 Ethernet cable. Whether you're expanding your network coverage, increasing port availability, or optimizing power distribution, this step-by-step -step tutorial has got you covered. And if you have any question with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And we'll be more than happy to answer your question for you. PoE switch is a device that combines the functions of a network switch with the capability to provide power to the connected devices over a single Ethernet cable. This can eliminate the need for a separate power set and simplify the installation process. By using the PoE switch in a system installation, you can enjoy several benefits. First, it reduces the overall cost and complexity of the setup. Second, it can provide flexibility as you install devices at location without easy access to power outlet. And additionally, it can offer centralized power management and control, which is simplifying the maintenance and troubleshooting problem. So let's talk a little more about the components of how to choose a PoE switch and the connection cable. Now, PoE switch has different types. We have Unmanaged. It has basic plug and play feature with no complicated configuration, which is suitable for a simple network. Managed switch, it can provide the highest level of control and functionality, making them ideal for a large and complex network. And also web smart switch, it offers a web-based interface for limited configuration feature, catering for small to medium-sized network. Not only the types of PoE switch, you also need to consider about the power budget, PoE standard, port number, and the types of the port numbers. And for the connection cable, make sure you choose the pure copper cable like the Cat5e and Cat6. So you might wonder, why are we linking two PoE switches together? Now I divided reasons into four points. First, expanded network coverage. Linking in two PoE switches allow you to extend your network coverage area by connecting multiple devices that are located in a different area or even different floors. It enables you to create a larger network infrastructure that can support more devices and recommend the needs of a growing network. Reason number two, increased port availability. So a single PoE switch may not have enough ports to have all the devices that you need. By linking two PoE switches together, you can effectively increase the number of the port and also providing sufficient connectivity to all your devices. Reason number three, load balancing. Linking two PoE switches together can help distribute the network traffic evenly across the switches, preventing construction on a single switch and ensure optimal performance and bandwidth utilization. Reason number four, redundancy and failover. Linking two PoE switches together can provide redundancy and failover capability in case one of the switch fell or experienced a network outage, and ensuring that network connectivity remain uninterrupted, minimizing downtime and enhancing network reliability. So without saying, let's take a look what we have today. So this one I'm holding is the 8-port PoE managed switch, and we are going to connect with a 16-port PoE managed switch. They have the same function, but only with different port numbers. Now this one has two SFP port. Those ports are for long distance, high bandwidth and low latency fiber optic link. And over this side, we have all the PoE ports. They can support up to 30 watts of power in maximum and compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT and BT standard. And they can also supply up to 1000 megabit per second data transfer rates. Now those managed switch has powerful traffic management and QoS feature. 
also offer MAC filtering and VLAN capability, so you can segregate networks and remote access to ports. And without saying, let's do the connection together. So we are going to connect a wireless access point and IP camera. So let's connect our router with the NVR first. And the NVR is already connected to the monitor to show video later on after we connect with the IP camera. Now use another Ethernet cable to connect the router to our PoE switch. Those two are the SFP slots and those two are the combo ports. This 16 PoE ports are available for all types of devices. Let's plug it in with a wireless access point. And you can see the indicated lights is getting on, so it's now getting power already. Use another Ethernet cable to connect our 16 port PoE switch all the way to our 8 port PoE switch. Let's plug it in and connect them together using another short patch cord to connect with the IP camera at the edge. You can see the indicated light is getting on. All the devices are getting power and data at the same time without a separate power unit. So the, sh Ooh, the video already show up. Let me wave my hand to show you this is a live video and the whole setup is done. For future scalability and network expansion, we also have 24 port and 48 port PoE switch available in the market. And for network management and security efficiency consideration, you can use their advanced management feature, subscribe our channel, and find out more video to learn how to use the management function, like the VLAN, DHCP, ERPS, and STP. And thank you very much for watching us today. I will see you next time.